can change an outfit better than makeup. What is one thing you can't leave your house without? Right, it's shoes. How to DIY shoes for all life emergencies. Watch in the new Lalaloo video. Take a bottle cork, a straw, and a square piece of glitter paper. Cut the cork vertically with a utility knife. Put on a doll foot and mark the size of the wedge on the cork. Cut off a piece. Try it on again. Trace the width of the foot on the cork. Cut off the excess cork. Copy the curve. A perfect shoe sole is done! Trace the feet on glitter paper and cut out an insole. Wow! Attach the insoles to the soles. Cut a piece of straw to fit the sole. Hot glue the open straw to the shoes. Decorate the joints with rhinestones. Done! Now you have something to wear during a hot summer. Go wherever you want, to a beach or a park. It's gonna feel great! <laughs> what a nice pink dress! But there are no matching shoes! What trouble! We need to do something about it! Look, there are so many colors! Which one would you like? We know! <laughs> Take a piece of stretchy fabric and wrap it around the leg. Trace it, taking all the curves into account. Fold the fabric in half and cut out. Hot glue the edges. Carefully turn the sock right side out. Bend the sole to be shaped like the foot and hot glue it on. Make a wedge from a few drops of glue. Shape soles at the bottom. Place the drying glue onto an even surface. Wrap the same fabric around the wedge and cut off the excess. Trace the wedge on thick foam paper. Cut it out and glue on the sole. Cover the joining with a thin white cord and decorate it. Done! The legs look even longer in these sock boots. I need to walk in them right now. Preferably to the car. Buy a car that matches your shoe color. What an elegant lady. <laughs> and the furniture is matching. So it means we need stiletto shoes. Trace the foot on cardboard. Make the tip flat. Cut out soles along the template. Cut the same pieces from foam paper. Hot glue a piece of silver wire that is as long as the sole between the cardboard and the foam paper. We get a sandwich with a wire that keeps any shape. Bend it to fit the shape of the foot. Glue the end of the thin silver ribbon to the bottom of the sole. Make a loop around and glue it. Cut off the excess. Attach another piece of ribbon to the heel. Now we'll need earring studs and two beads. Hot glue the beads and set up the heel underneath. Cut out a cork cube. Attach it to the front of the shoes. No, it's impossible to walk like that. Cut the cork to fit the sole. Remove the excess on the sides and make it shorter. Cut the ribbon in half lengthwise and cover the joining with it. Try it on. It fits like a glove. Put on the doll and tie. You feel like a queen in these heels. Wow! All eyes are on you. The truth is, it's comfier to lie in them than to walk. <laughs> Judging by the handbag, this doll is going far away. But she doesn't have suitable shoes. Gladiator sandals will match her style. Trace the feet on a square piece of thick cardboard. Leave some extra around. Hot glue them to the back of black faux leather and cut out. 
Draw a hill on the edge of a faux leather piece. Cut it out and cut zigzags on the straight side. Attach a thin strip to the front of the sole to Glue the other piece on the heel. Coat the kneaded part of the sole with hot glue and fold up the leather from the back of the sole. It's almost looking like a sandal! Hot glue one end of a thin brown cord to the bottom. Wrap it around the sole. Fasten the other edge and cut off the excess. Do it once again, but a bit higher. Apply hot glue to a cord loop and attach it at the heel. Leave the ends of the cord free. Cut another layer of the sole and attach it to the bottom. Wrap a thin strip around the sandal. Cut off extra leather with a utility knife. Shade the bottom of the shoes with a marker. Our gladiator sandals are done! <laughs> Put them on and lace them up! Now our doll is ready to take a walk! This model was tried and tested centuries ago! Where did my favorite boot go? I can't go only wearing one! There are sandals everywhere! What do I do? Don't worry, we'll make you the other Doc Martens! You won't have to wear flip-flops! Trace the feet on white foam paper. Cut out a piece. Now we need a piece of leather. Cut out. Draw the shape on it. And make a cutout. Make notches on top of the cutout. Glue it to the front part of the sole. Fold the notches down. Cut a piece shaped like a t-shirt from leather. Draw notches on top again. Glue the pieces to the sole so the center is on the heel and fold the notches under the sole. Make soles from cardboard. Cut out. Cut the same shape. Glue on a cardboard heel. Attach the whole piece to the bottom of the boot. The piece is done. Wrap a strip of black foam paper around the perimeter. Cut off the excess and shade the sole with a marker. Decorate it with a cord. Poke holes for shoelaces with an awl. Lace up the boots with a thin cord. Yes! The other one is done! Now our doll won't have to wear sandals in cold weather. Next thing you know, we are making real shoes! A wardrobe of a stylish doll isn't complete without Converse sneakers. Trace the feet on cardboard and cut them out. Attach to thick foam paper and cut out again. We need four soles like this. Glue two and two together. Fold black leather in half and trace the foot. Cut out both layers and do it once again. Now cut out the front part of the shoe. We need two pieces of it. Done! All pieces are ready for assembling. Coat the back part of the shoe with hot glue around the edge and attach the sole. Add the thin foam paper piece. Warm it up with a lighter. This way we'll get the toe cap of the shoe. Fasten it with glue. Cut an oval. That's a tongue. Glue it in. Attach another layer of sole. Cut a foam paper strip to fit the height of the sole. Glue it on around the sole. 
Make holes for shoelaces with an awl and pass through a thin white cord. Cut out stickers and attach them to the sneakers. Our versatile shoes are done! You can wear them to play football or walk. It's both for girls and boys. It looks great with jeans and skirts. Amazing! Did you like our video? Do you have your own ideas? Hit the thumbs up, click on the bell, and you'll be the first one to know about everything we come up with on Lollaloo!